What's up YouTube, this is uh, HDD Recovery Services. Today we will be going over some mail. This is something I wanted to address. I kind of try to tell it to every customer that calls me. The packaging is very important. I have two packages here that came in today. One is packed the way it should be. Another one is not the way it should be. The reason for that is paper envelope is not a good way to send your device through the mail. These paper envelopes have a tendency of tearing up along the transit if something bulky is stuck in them like what I'm feeling here for example is, I think it's a memory card if you send something like this without tracking information in a, in a paper envelope and it tears up all we're gonna get is an empty envelope most likely with your shipping form on the inside unlike this unit is sent uh, in a plastic bubble wrap packed envelope this will never tear up I mean, unless somebody decides to rip it open. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, open this one first. This one is coming from uh, Niagara Falls, Canada. And uh, what we have inside is a Lexar flash drive. Pops up with a format message, eight gigabytes, and it's roughly two, three years old. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this fixed first in order to open it up. There's a very convenient way to do that. There's a slight, I don't know what, what I'd call it, recess, I guess, in it, that allows you to stick a small flat-headed screwdriver inside, and uh, voila, this whole unit comes apart. Now on the back side, this is the memory chip. On the front side, we got the controller chip. I don't know the reason why this unit is not working right now and uh, honestly I don't know if we're going to be getting into the topic of finding out what had failed. If we plug this device into a USB port and it doesn't work right away, then we remove the memory chip, put it in the reader and reconstruct the data directly from the chip. This is a micron chip so the quality of the read will be extremely close to original. The flash drive is now on a jig and we just applied a little bit of... Uh, flux to help with the desoldering process. Usually we use uh, preset settings on uh, our rework station and uh, the preheater works at about 250 uh, degrees Celsius whereas the uh, top heating element runs at 700 Fahrenheit. So we just removed the memory component and as you can see it's got a lot of uh, flux residue Plus the pins possibly have excessive solder on them. So we gotta remove the excessive solder by wicking it out. And just like that. Fairly straightforward. And uh, we're just gonna dip it in a um, bath uh, with alcohol cleaner to remove the residue from the flux. We also use a fiber glass pen to brush up the contacts just to make sure that they're nice and polished. Then the chip goes into the reader. The reader works in congestion with the uh, software portion of the tool and uh, that tool allows us to extract raw memory from uh, the chip itself. I fast forward this whole process probably by 20 times, so uh, don't get to think it's it's this fast. Sometimes it is fast, but um, to read information out from a 16 gigabyte flash drive, uh, approximately we would be looking at about half an hour just reading um, the component out. Then every uh, error correction code um, uh, operation, finding out what type of element uh, what type of layout is used uh, all these things take time and um, to sum it up average case can take anywhere from um, let's say half an hour if it's already been done before to hour and a half sometimes if we have to mm, use alternative ways to figure figure out how it uh, how it's put together so once uh, we determine what uh, data conversion elements had been used by the controller we replicate them using this software and uh, it allows us to reconstruct the, st the structure of, um, of the file system so we can actually see 
the data as if the flash drive was functional again. I have to blur this out because, uh, you know, it's privacy. Uh, but uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Basically, we just quickly showed you what's involved in the process and that we're able to actually get to the data by applying this method. So uh, hit like and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in data recovery because we will only be posting more and more of this content. Uh, I thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.